We aim to engineer microbes so that they can make chemicals that they would not normally make. In this way, we can feed the microbes like glucose or any source of sugar and have them produce this biofuel. This is genetic engineering, so it involves introducing genes, deleting genes. This is the common use that we use for baking our bread or making beer or wine to produce fuels and chemicals. In this field of metabolic engineering, I think it's very important to realize that it offers that potential to change the industry as, as we have it right now. Pretty much any product, now we can engineer microbes to produce them. Something really exciting and it comes like if it was from a sci-fi movie. As a kid, it was very crazy to me. Now we do it every day in the lab. Molecules that can be used as dropping biofuels for gasoline replacement. They can be upgraded to jet fuel. They can be used for the production of solvents and plastics and, and, and beyond. He took this, these genetic instructions and introduced it into this gene knockout library. It's a collection of about 5,000 strains in which each non-essential gene is deleted. So he essentially found a gold mine, but that's going to be for future generations to go one by one and try to better understand why these effects that he found are important. Being awarded the Jacobus Fellowship was a huge honor to me. It's also a big motivation to continue pushing the boundaries of knowledge. And when you get something like this, that's when you get that motivation to continue uh, doing the work that you do because you know like it is important.